Do you mean minorities in the country? Like, like they would suffer as a result of capitalism still? Well, yeah, because, you know, minorities are always used as a scapegoat and they're always oppressed. So right now we have a problem with um, certain, let, let's say you have like a black sounding name, right? I talk about that study yeah. a lot that shows that um, you're less likely to get a call back with your job resume as compared to a job resume that's identical in qualifications. The only difference is that the name is more common, like Jake or something more white sounding. I talk about this, but that's yeah. subconscious bias, right? How is that going to be fixed in socialism? One of the main reasons I reject uh, socialism to begin with is because we can all like kind of fantasize about like a magical world or something, but this is just, this is never going to happen. First of all, the world is progressing globally. There's more global connectivity than there ever has been before. We're not going to start moving backwards. Hello. Hello, Hunter. Greetings. Hi. Oh, yeah, I'm a really big fan, actually, but um, I wanted to discuss something. And that's um, pretty much, sorry, um, pretty much a lot of the time, it seems that you're somewhat sort of grifting on these topics and you're not actually pushing for real societal change. Um, okay. And you sort of refuse to um, state your actual political ideology. No, I don't. I'm a social democrat. Oh, sh Sorry, I thought you'd never, you'd never said that before. Oh, yeah, no, no worries. But yeah, no, I, I am a social democrat. I'm pretty clear on that. I feel like, though, with, with the points you push, and as much as I agree with, that, with most of the things you say when you're talking about transphobia and all those different things, yeah, it is great, but ultimately, it's not actually, like, you can say whatever you like and you can try and push for change, but it's like, without an entire shift in, like, like, like without like an entire shift in the way our society works we're never going to get to a point where I, I don't know um like society is truly uh how do you get society there's... to shift um i mean i i mean i'm a socialist myself so it's sort of a push well, towards socialism well if you want society to change doesn't it start at least to a degree with a certain change in societal attitudes Oh yeah, and I agree, and that's why I push on my TikTok. I so push then I am so doing I... change because oh, yeah, I'm I changing agree. people's just... minds. So I am doing actual change because when I... people's attitudes change towards, say, trans people, that changes the way that some people are going to legislate. Oh yeah, and I completely agree with that. But I feel like in our current society, as much as we can say sh about you know, you know, trans rights, you know, all uh, like Black Lives Matter, all of that. In a capitalist society, still we can never get to a point where everything is truly equal, and I I just don't I, I just so? think that um ultimately just just with the way our monetary system works with it within um, I mean I'm British obviously but especially within the USA like the the sort of um, the distance between sorry I'm not very good I'm not used to debating so I'm not very good with the sort of no 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 no, no don't use. worry about it don't worry about it I'm I'm with you I'm following um, thanks mate um, but yeah pretty like the, the sort of difference between the, the the poverty line versus the rich and the top one percent under a capitalist system there will always be a a, a different a, a very major difference between those two sorry i'm not very good with my words no i but, understand it sounds like yeah. you're saying that if there's capitalism um, you're always going to have some people that are able to be basically more successful than others which is true yeah but yeah and, but, but but hold on we can limit the way by how much more successful people get can be limited so that's why people talk about um what's the tax called F why can't i not remember it suddenly it's a um i forget the what it's called the specific um, name of it, but it's a type of tax that basically you pay a lower tax rate um, up until a set amount. So then maybe after like 10 million, you're paying like 50% in taxes up past $10 million. So there are ways that you can you can literally tax people more. And you're, you're right, you are going to have some people that are more successful. And I, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think what's wrong is when you are more successful, that carries with it things that other people don't have access to, which they almost need to survive. So right now, I don't like that if you're really successful, that means you get healthcare, but the poor person doesn't. I think that's f***ed up. But 
I, I think, also I, I think though the problem with that but, is but the hold fact on, but hold on. If we, both we, the we millionaire... already know though. We we already know from from the past and from everything that that ultimately minority groups are gonna be heavily disadvantaged by the system. Even how if well, you, well just just look at the statistics. Just look at at anything and you'll realize that yeah, I, I don't know. No, they're not. There's certain policies that can be put in place, like social democrat policies that can benefit minority groups so long as they're done correctly. It's also true, like you're not wrong that some of those policies can be done incorrectly. I mean, the New Deal, for example, um, was the, the whole welfare thing. You'll hear conservatives say how like the black community is incentivized to not have fathers in the house, which to be honest, there's actually a hint of truth there. There was something in that policy that made it that if you have a, a uh, man in the house who could, who could be working, then you would not qualify for welfare. So even if that man was out of a job, well, he was in the house and he was eligible to work, so therefore they wouldn't qualify. So there were policies like that, that although it was put well, in place I, to try and benefit uh, minority groups and people struggling in poverty, it actually f***ed over the black community in some ways. But you can just change I, that. You can just change that policy. I get what you're saying, but I think you can put, it's like, you can put, I don't know, I can't, I'm trying to think of an example here. Um, uh, what, what's it called? But um, an analogy. But I, I feel like you can try and fix capitalism with as many different laws or policies as you like. But ultimately, it just doesn't work. It, it doesn't work. And it, what, what, I mean, How it does works, it not work? It, it, like the, the, best con the, the best countries right now, the happiest regions are all social democrats. I get what you're saying, but the reason they're the happiest countries is because of socialist policies. Sorry. Um, social Democrat policies. That's what yeah, Social Democrat I, I... is. Is is social some socialist policies, right? And then there is still capitalism. But there's caps just... on it. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but like I don't know, um, but yeah, I felt, I don't know, I don't know where to go with this, but, um, yeah. Okay. I mean, no, I, I hear you out, don't get me wrong, and I, I just, I'm not sure. I'm not how great these... at debating, by the way, as you can tell. I'm, no, it's I no worries at all. I make short, short form content. No worries at all. It's, it's not a big deal. It's, it's more just that I'm not sure why capital, or why socialism will necessarily fix some of the problems we have right now. Like, what what are the main problems? Well, there's lack of health care, there's billionaires that are out of control. These things can socialism be fixed with policies and, without within socialism. So, but within socialism, but even if we put a, say, a 50, 75% cap once you reach, and even a 100% cap, I mean, I think once people are billionaires, they should have a 100% cap on their wealth, or at least like something that meant like a 90% cap on their wealth, or 90% being taken by taxes. But I, I just think the problem is, is that just... Any society where some people, where with like money and with where anyone can um, be richer than others, just leads to minorities ultimately um, just just being oppressed within that society. How, however, we put it, how I just think why well, just, though? Like, I mean, why, but I don't understand. Why, I don't understand why that is. I think that's definitely something that can happen for sure. But how how is that? And it, I don't think that's. A necessity. I don't think that social democracy necessitates. Do you mean minorities in the country, like like they would suffer as a result of capitalism still? Well, yeah, because you know minorities are always used as a scapegoat and they're always oppressed. And um, however, and even if we do have those caps or whatever, ultimately, just like being hired for a job, for example, even if we do put into place some policies that mean that you know you can't discriminate based on race it still mm -hmm. happens doesn't it and but when, when the blockers own the um own the okay means no, of no, no 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 i'm sorry to cut you off but there's no way that your system would fix this so right now we have a problem with um certain let, let's say you have like a black sounding name right well, i talk about that study yeah. a lot that shows that um you're less likely to get a call back with your job resume as compared to a job resume that's identical in qualifications the only difference is that the name is more common like jake or something more white sounding um and i talk about this but that's yeah. subconscious bias right 
How is that going to be fixed in socialism? Then what's going to stop the union or the, the worker co-op or whatever from um, being racist then? What if there's subconscious bias that prevents them from bringing someone new into the company because they have a black side name? How is socialism be, going to fix that? Under the socialist system, there will be like set in stone rules in place, just like your American constitution or whatever, that would mean that you, you can't oppress against people and that anyone would be essentially But you just said that even when those things are in place, that it's still going to happen. So yeah, I guess, but, but it's so different you're right that... the capital. Oh, it's, you, know, it, it, you know, it's so weird, like, debating you when I'm normally watching you on TikTok debate other people, and now, like, I'm, like, the person being attacked by you. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, um... I'm not attacking at all, okay? Listen, you're, you're still, like, I can tell that it's coming from a place where you are genuinely, you're passionate and you care about these issues, and I think that means a lot. But I just think that some of the, the problems that minorities face right now I don't know how that would possibly be fixed under under socialism just because if we have problems with subconscious bias, how is that subconscious bias going to just be gone suddenly? Wait, Hunter, Hunter, I was wondering, could I, I I've got to go now, I've got something on. Okay. Could I do some research and then maybe in a few streams time or whatever, um, I could come and talk to you about this again and do sure. some more research on the subject. Oh, sure, if absolutely. If you've got enough time or whatever. That'd be awesome. But thank you. it was really nice talking to you. Uh, I am a big fan. Nice and, talking to you uh, too. And uh, yeah, keep up the keep up the good work. And I look forward to um, talking again. Oh yeah, thanks, mate. See ya. See ya. Hello, Cosmo. Hi. Uh, does the sound work? Yes, sounds fine. How are you today? Good. This is kind of a point uh, someone, the socialist uh, person, touched on earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, about uh. You, Oh, it's a problem with, like, the, the system itself and, like, our forum has issues because of the problems surrounding it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would say I, I would take this uh, further by pointing it, by uh, making the argument that the state itself is a problem. That um, this is kind of a bigger issue that a lot of people kind of, uh, kind of ignore because it seems a very radical opinion. Uh, which, in my opinion, is good. I think radicalism. You can need to be good help me radical. understand a little better than how, how. What do you mean by the state? Like authority I mean, being like, consolidated within the government, kind of thing. I mean, like uh, the system. I mean, like um, the uh, a organized system, a system of hierarchy, and um, like a, I mean the same like the anarchist definition. I, I'm not against government. I'm against uh, government in the sense that uh, you uh, that you vote for someone who does some stuff every couple of years. I wouldn't consider that democracy. I would consider that an oligarchy that it with uh, slightly more with uh, that with democratic characteristics. Well, it's a democratic republic, so we vote for those people to stay there and vote in the Senate on the behalf of their voters, right? So it's it's not a pure democracy. The reason they only do stuff sometimes is because it has to go through Congress, and that's complicated, and a lot of shit gets rejected, and those might be issues that we can talk about there too. But what's wrong with the state at the end of the day, at least as far as the consolidation of, of certain powers? Who, Without the state, how would we have laws? How would we enforce these things? Well, uh, you enforce them by uh, by a communal – like, um, like uh, kind of – like uh, the Soviet uh, system, not before Len, before uh, Lenin, kind of before um, kind of like um. In, I don't really under, I don't I'm not too well read on that, so you're just gonna have to explain it to me. But I know you're not talking about that kind of communism. But go ahead. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a tanky. Um, like uh, the good. authority, kind of like the the worker council thing, but like kind of expanded. So like uh, we would have. Uh, common issues. So, like a mining town would be connected by a fact that they, you know, work in a mine. Uh, you would, uh, and a form of direct democracy. Now, there, there are definitely issues. And not. But what about deny laws? That. But, but not that direct democracy within like a company is one thing. But what about laws? Who's going to enforce that? How is that going to be done? Uh, through uh, communal or through. I, I know I keep saying. Communal, kind of like a uh system where uh you have it where uh the 
Because I, I, I like to think that most of the time people, uh, people are naturally good. I don't think that everyone a uh, naturally good person. That's insane. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that a lot of the problems in society are caused by uh, people not getting what they need. And, um, and other issues resulting in, um, in uh, poverty and stuff like that. So basically, I, I, think, a, I think that our current capitalist uh, system where you would uh, where um where uh, where something as basic as food something mm -hmm. is uh, is um like a commodity right um i now i i think that no i'm I, well, hold now, on. personally i I'm, hate to cut you off but hold on hold on because you're saying get rid of the state but that at the same time it sounds like i mean what's wrong with the idea of like a system where we all collectively pay a certain amount of money to fund like the police or something like how, how are we going to do that how are we going to do that without the state um well personally i am like because that's what we have right now we have our tax dollars that pay the police like what why can't we work on say reforming the police or reforming things that we already have it seems a little bit extreme to try and and obliterate all of this when there are still elements of it that is that that are good or at least are, are have the right idea well the thing is like, i think there are good aspects i think capitalism has done i think the state isn't completely bad but i just think that a system in which uh people uh, which um people not vote on politician but on policy the people are connected to the problems that they face that would never work vote. that's that would never work the reason we have a democratic republic is because people are busy. We have day-to-day -day lives. I don't, I don't have time to vote on every menial, menial little thing in the government, nor do I want to. No, I no, want someone else doing be, that for me. No, but it wouldn't be a thing where, like, it wouldn't be a, like, it would, it wouldn't, like, it's not like you would vote for millions of people. It's like you would a uh, community. So it would be, and the thing is, uh, there would be, like, um, if a certain uh, area, area, like a, let, let's call them communes, had a problem or had it was doing really good, then other communes, let's say, uh, can adapt the, can look at the things that they did well. I know this is very radical and, and fringe. It's not uh, even that it's fringe and radical. It's that I, I can see how, like, in theory, it could even be possible. But this is the one of the main reasons I reject uh, socialism to begin with is because we can all like kind of fantasize about like a magical world or something, but this is just, this is never going to happen. First of all, the world is progressing globally. There's more global connectivity than there ever has been before. We're not going to start moving backwards. We're not going to start becoming in these little like com communes kind of shit. There's going to be more interest in global economics even. That's the whole talk about globalism, right? It, it's, it's like a backwards mentality almost. It's it's not embracing the reality of the way the world is heading. Mm. Um. Hmm. Uh, well, I, I would say that. Um, hmm. Could I? Uh, I I was very I I really was. Um. I didn't do my do what I was supposed to with baits and stuff. Is it okay if. Like, sure. uh, like the guy said earlier, maybe I could. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, no, I, I ask people to do that for me sometimes, too, <laughs> if they want to talk to me about a topic that I still want to do more research on. So, yeah, by all means, that's this fine. Is a, this is a really good uh, conversation. I, I, I really need to um, get better at this. Don't um, worry about it. Hey, you got to start somewhere. And what matters is that, you know, we're we're all friends here. I'm not I'm not here yelling at you or anything. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. All right, cool. Uh, have a good day.